If you want to view multiple indicators, such as time, in the Kids Count Data Center, you can create custom reports. These reports compare national, state, territory, and city data. You can also compare data for different locations in the same state, such as cities or counties. The first way to create a custom report is to scroll to the bottom of the home page to the Create Custom Report section. You can follow the instructions to create a custom report based on national, state, territory, or city data. Clicking one will launch the window to refine and create your custom report. Or you can compare data by city, county, or congressional district using the drop down menu to select specific state and clicking the Build a Report button. By default, you can generate a report on an entire state. But if you want, you can select specific counties, cities, or congressional districts to compare. In this example, we'll compare information by cities by looking at Los Angeles and San Diego. On the following screen, you can check a box to view all indicators for the selected locations. You'll see the total number of indicators in parentheses. You can also expand individual indicators by clicking the plus icon and checking specific boxes. The total number of indicators for a specific category is listed in parentheses. As an example, we'll expand education and school age, and we'll check the box teens ages 16 to 19 not in school and not high school graduates. We'll also expand young adults and check the box young adults ages 18 to 24 who are enrolled in or have completed college. Click the Create Report button to generate your custom report. The report now displays your requested information. If you want to just look at individual cities, you can uncheck the box Compare to California, which compares stats for individual cities against the entire state. And instead of scrolling through the report to find a specific indicator, you can use the drop down menu at the top of the report to jump to it. The report itself shows data by location, data type, and year, with definitions and sources below each indicator. You can modify the report to just show the most recent year by clicking Most Recent Year. Or you can download raw data for an indicator by clicking Raw Data. There's also an Explore Data option, which takes you to a report indicator page where you can look at different data through a regular report. Once you finish building your custom report, you can email a copy, print it, export it to a PDF, or you can bookmark the URL to return to it and view its data over time, since the URL of the custom report is permanent. If you've saved or downloaded a copy and want to generate a different custom report, you can click the Create New Report button. That's one way to create another custom report. The second way is to browse data by the location, topic, or characteristic you want to learn more about. To find out how to browse data by any of these methods, check out our video on how to do it. Let's say you browse by topic to find information about demographics. If you scroll down and look at the left side of your screen, you'll see a button that says Create Custom Report. Click it to launch the window where you'll create a custom report. When you're creating a custom report based on a topic or characteristic, this first screen will look slightly different from the one we showed you earlier when we were creating a custom report based on location. You can select multiple states, territories, or cities to compare when generating your report, or to look at data within a single state, you can use the drop down menu to select that state. Then the radio buttons above it will update, so you can select locations within that state to compare. In another example, we'll compare data for two cities, Albuquerque and Atlanta. All the remaining steps to create a custom report are the same, and all the options you'll see after you create the report are the same as the ones we showed you in the first example. We'll finish the second report by comparing data from both cities about high school aged teens that aren't in school and haven't graduated high school. That's how to create custom reports and compare locations on the Annie E. Casey Foundation's Kids Count Data Center. Be sure to check out our other videos in this series on how to use the site which you can find on the help page. Also, let us know if you have any questions by clicking on the contact link in the site's footer. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you found the information you needed.